Hi, Credly allows the employees to submit investment declaration in order for them to have a tax exemption and accurate tax deductions. You can declare your investments in your payroll sub tab under my profile. Before we begin, please keep in mind that investment declaration is only applicable if an individual chooses to go with the old tax regime. New tax regime will not allow you to declare investments to get a tax exemption. Hence, please choose your tax scheme wisely. So firstly, your admin will approve the tax scheme selected by you and then you will get an option to update your investments. Let's glance overview at the last. Deductions has a subtab named Section ATC under which you can add your commonly declared investments such as life insurance premium, fixed deposit, etc. Point to note, the maximum exemption you can avail under Section ATC is 150,000 regardless of the total declared or approved amount. Now to add a declaration, click on the three dots that you see towards the right side of your screen and add your amount under the declared amount section. Let me add one more declaration under investments and fixed deposits. You can add as many declarations you can so long they are valid. In addition to Section ADC, you can add other deductions as well. Even here, you can add your declarations by clicking on the three dots towards the right side of your screen. You can upload proofs for your declarations by clicking on the upload option. And this is applicable everywhere. The next option is to add HRA. For this, you need to add your rental details along with the complete address, rent amount and the landlord details. Of course, do not forget to upload the rental agreement, rent receipts and the landlord's PAN card copy. Furthermore, you can add loss or income from house property. Choose the type of the property, then add more details about your property. Complete address and the property value and etc. And then please add the loan details if you have taken a loan against your property. Don't forget to upload the supporting documents for this. If you have a let out property, please add the annual rental income received. Up next is LTA. This is applicable only if your employer has accommodated LTA in your CTC. And if you are an employee who has joined the current organization in the middle of the financial year, you must add the income you have earned from your previous employer, along with the income tax deducted by them as well. I'm adding the employment in your income earned Of course, PT deducted, PF deducted and tax deducted should also be entered so that your current employer can deduct the correct income tax. Add your reimbursements under the reimbursement sub tab. You can see the maximum limit allocated by your HR administrator here. However, you can add the declared amount as per the proof that you could submit. At last, you can glance at the overview to validate everything that you have declared and then submit the same. 
and after you submit your HR administrator will approve or reject your declaration and the tax will be computed as per the approval. You can check the tax computation in the tax projection tab. Oh yes, look out for the Form 16 as the ITR season is around the corner. Thank you for watching this video.